Good morning, everyone. My name is Chad Blevins, and I work at USAID. I support a team there called the Geo Center, and I'm here to tell you about our Mapping for Resilience program. USAID is the lead federal agency that provides foreign assistance to developing countries. And we work to end extreme poverty and promote resilient democratic societies while helping those countries achieve their long-term development goals. We have a presence in about 100 countries worldwide, and we support a wide range of programs ranging from agriculture, environment, economic growth, democracy and governance, health, nutrition, disaster response, just to name a few. The Geo Center at USAID applies geographic information to these development challenges to help make these programs more effective and efficient. And we do this by focusing in four core areas. One is creating maps and conducting analysis, uh, working with our colleagues in the agency and helping apply this, this type of information to their work, so building the capacity to use this information. We're also establishing methods to collect and share this information while engaging with a global community of uh, geographers. We also support, support a network of 25 GIS specialists throughout the world. They're embedded in, a, in the USAID missions throughout the world. We have a GIS person in approximately 25% or a quarter of all USAID missions. And these specialists work with host country governments, uh, other donors, and non-governmental organizations. Uh, many of them are, are from these countries, and they've, they've grown up and they've lived there their whole lives, so they're intimately familiar with the challenges that these countries face. And we have the opportunity to work with these folks, and they're constantly telling us that you know, there's, a, there's a high demand and a need for very detailed, specific geographic information that can be applied to their work. And the Geo Center is helping them with this need and promoting open data at USAID through our Mapping for Resilience program. See, this program is designed to create data that can be applied to these development challenges by first creating partnerships with universities, uh, both in the U.S. and abroad, and virtually linking them so they can work together on a common problem. We then define the data needs to determine exactly what type of information is needed to support these programs. We'll then set out to create that data using university students in the U.S. who can who can create data um, in, in from DC, and then we'll have that data validated by these university students overseas who, are, who live in, in the areas where we're working. So we recently took a trip to Bangladesh to work with our country team located in Dhaka, and to also build a relationship with Kuna University and the Kuna District to the southwest. Um, Bangladesh is a priority country for USAID. It supports three presidential initiatives, uh, Feed the Future, which focuses on agriculture, global health, and global climate change. Bangladesh is a country of 160 million people. That's about half the U.S. population, and it's just slightly larger than New York State. Um, to, the, to the north there are the Himalaya Mountains, and two major rivers, the Ganges and the Brahmaputra, flow through Bangladesh and uh, into the Bay of Bengal and produce extreme seasonal flooding. Agriculture is the largest sector in their economy, and it's also the focus of our Feed the Future program, which is meant to enhance the programs um, in that sector. So working with universities uh, in, in George Washington, in, in D.C., we, we recently, you know, it's right down the street from our office, so we're able to go, go to and work with those students hands-on guide them, teach them, tell them about the country, and they can create data to our specifications. We'll then hand that data over to the students in Kuna University who can work with our partners. They can go out into the field, they speak, speak the language, they know the landscape, they can validate this data and collect a much needed attribution and add that into the database. This data will then be used by our partners, as you can see in this picture. They'll print out maps, they'll bring it out to these communities and show these people many, many times for the first time ever their area, their spot on this earth on a map. And then these people know the land better than anyone else and they can immediately start coming up with plans and ways to improve their agriculture yields and make, these, make their land more resilient um, should some unforeseen flooding event occur. So our next steps is to create more university partnerships, not only in the U.S., but also overseas. This will allow us to create more data to support more programs and more sectors at USAID, and this will in turn lead to better development. 
So I'd like to end by saying this. This program isn't just about creating data. It's about creating these partnerships and empowering our youth and, and virtually linking them across the globe so they can work together to solve some of the world's toughest challenges. Thank you very much.